Hmm? It's fitting given our location. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so for DTs, we, we have a protocol actually. We made it up here. But basically, based on uh, some information and, and, and publication from Valium and, and Phenobarb and all those things. So, so we divide our DTs to severe DTs and moderate and mild and stuff like that. So for severe disease, I didn't even want to explain it. You can, you'll know it yourself, especially when you come here. Uh, you'll know what DTs are, you know? So you gotta see somebody who is uh, uh, combative, uh, you know, is fighting, is uh, spitting, four-point restraints, seizure. That's severe DTs. Uh, hallucinations and, and a little bit of high blood pressure, that's not severe, that's moderate, okay? Um, so, um, so, uh, so, for, so Valium came, made a comeback based, based on two studies. One came from the ER and they actually did what they did. They said, let's give 200 milligram of Valium, 200 huh, of Valium, one dose, and let the patient DTE like just wean itself, wean himself, go send him to the ICU and have him wean himself, take a, a week or something, <laughs> or three days. And that tells you how safe the, the, the thing is. When I was when I was a resident at Bellevue, Bellevue is like <laughs> DTs over there is like a different animal. It's like a fourth uh, dimension. <laughs> uh, um, nine. I gave a, I gave a patient nine hundred milligram TID of of uh, Valium, and the patient was still agitated. Could, we didn't didn't put him down. So depending, uh, you titrate it up very very high industrial doses because. Um, because it, it has some safety profile, right? But anyway, um, so that's one, one study. The other study comes from Bellevue, right? And anything that comes from Bellevue about DTs, believe it. <laughs> so so their, their protocol basically is, uh, it was just a protocol that was done and then they compared it to the Ativan drips and found, it's, it's not a well done study, but they just compared it to the Ativan drips and found less intubations and less length of stay. Right? So you see the DT patient, give him 10 milligram of Valium. He's still uh, agitated, wait 15 minutes, and then give him 20 milligram, and then 40, and then 80, and then 160, right? Until the patient calms down. Once, and then find out which dose actually, uh, you know, put the patient to sleep. So let's say the 40 is the one that put the, put the patient to sleep. Then you take the dose and you carefully put them at 40 milligram IV Q4 hour standing and 40 milligram IV Q4 hours PRN in a staggering fashion, right? Like one and one like this. So basically every two hours you will take a value. You potentially can have value. Huh? So that's a lot. And don't do like somebody who uh, thought that PRN staggering is PRN staggering. Like you take the, you stand the patient up and see if. You can. <laughs> 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 that's a true story. <laughs> so anyway, so that's that's your uh, your potential to, to give how much Ativan like this, uh, Valium like this, and then in about six hours you can start the Haldol. Hmm? There's some delirium in it. Uh, and you don't have to do it, only stick to benzos. You give a very high doses for no good reason. I believe in the in the multi uh, multi model approach for everything. That will decrease the side effects of each medication. Five milligram Q4, for example. Why six hours? Because old reports showed that Haldol reduces the, the uh, or decreases the seizure threshold. M many neurologists don't believe in that. They say this is uh, horseshit. This, uh, this is just somebody. It's similar when the patient comes to you and say, I'm allergic to Decadron. And you say, you can't be. He said, yeah, I'm allergic to Decadron because they gave it to me and the allergy went, get, became worse. Same thing, you know, somebody was coming in with DTs, they gave him Haldol early on and he, and he had a seizure. So w whether it came from Haldol or from the thing, nobody knows. But out of respect for those uh, uh, reports, and maybe they're true, uh, we're going to give the Haldol six hours later. So, you know, you already got huge amounts of Valium on board. You're not going to seize. Guaranteed. You're Valiumized. Impossible to see is when you give 40 milligram of Valium for somebody. Huh? So, Haldol. And then I guarantee you in about 12 hours, and that's a prediction, that the nurses are gonna start holding the PRN. 
they're not going to be given the PRM. There's already a patient's value amount. They're going to be only giving the, uh, the standing. And then in one day, 24 hours, you have to decrease the Valium by 50%. Why? Because if you don't do that, the patient is never going to wake up. And res resist any attempt from the nurse to dissuade you from this. Because they're going to always say, the patient is still agitated. Please don't do it now. Yes, do it. Why? Because there's Valium in the fat. So when you decrease to 50%, the Valium from the fat is going to come out. Right? And it's going gonna, it's gonna to substitute. It's not going to be a real 50% drop in your brain concentration of Valium. Right? And you keep doing it 50% every day, and then any time the patient can take PO, use a chance and switch the standing Valium only to PO. Don't switch the PRN, obviously. Some people switch the PRN and then they go beg the patient, can you please, when he's jumping, you know, can't do that. So uh, the PO Valium is, uh, uh, is double the IV. So if you already has been, have been weaning Valium and let's say you went to 20 Q4 or something, the equivalent of that is 40 PO uh, Q, Q4 hours. At the same time, when you take PO, give Seroquel. And that would be the base for Haldol, and you can give, you know, start 50 Q8 and then titrate up quickly if the patient needs more. And so you have now a base of anti-delirium and go Haldol above, and base of Valium and go Valium above. Uh, uh, you know, some people, it's not, it's not scientific, what I'm saying now, but it's, they call it delirium tremens. Don't treat the tremens only, treat the delirium too. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to keep giving a lot of huge doses of Valium. And then add anything else that you want to add, like clonidine. I like clonidine. Some people like trazodone. And, you know, it's up to you. Add, I, like, I like to add this. Huh? And then uh, if the patient fails after all of this, then Presidex. And if he fails, we're going to give him propofol. Okay? So that's the severe DTs. For the moderate DTs, we talk about... Floor or ICU? We couldn't get the floor to use phenobarb, so that's why we have it like this. So the floor, uh, Valium, 10Q4, and 10Q4 staggering. Okay, so that's the maximum they can give, 10 IV, 10 IV Q4. The ICU use phenobarb. I'm, sh I'm sure you guys are kind of shocked why we use phenobarb in the moderate and not in the, in the severe. It's Look at the doses. If you're going to go itsy bitsy, I'm going to use the maximum 10 milligram of Valium, then yeah, switch them. But if you're going you're gonna to be a man <laughs> and, use, and use Valium real doses, then this, this, is, this is suitable for, for very, very agitated patients. This is, you know... Uh, the good old uh, lady who forgot her vodka or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and we tried both and, and people, just anecdotally, I can tell you that this one is not as, as big as this. And by the way, it's not because of anything, it's because of uh, relatively newer in this arena. Huh? And I guarantee you, in, in about five years or so, the dose of uh, phenobarb that we give, use for patients is going to be five times what we use now. Because it's a safe medication, they probably, somebody's going to do a study and then we'll find out yeah, you can give actually five times that dose and still the patient is, not, is breathing on his own. See, it's almost the same uh, concept of, uh, of valley, why it's therapeutic margin and stuff like that, but we don't have that study yet. So you know, you know how the original study talks about if you have high suspicion of, uh, uh, of respiratory depression or moderate suspicion or, 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 or uh, low